I can't believe it's already 11 right now since after the last part of the episode of last year's video of my reaction at number six. So this was happened here just before a couple episodes back then. And I really would understand that there is something going on in between from the range. As you now know, someone else has won the immunity. Right now, gold coiny. I'm going, I'm going to call him gold coiny because that Definitely does look like a coiny from the BFDI, except it's a little bit gold. So at that point, I have no other conceptions to this one. And just because I just really have to know about that. This time, it's not nickel anymore. Because now you know, because at this point, he's gold. So I call them gold coiny. Ha ha ha, how do you like that now? Anyway, forget what I just said now. Right now, as you see, Cappy is already back then. Last episode, it was test tube eliminated here in the 10th episode here of returning from the island of rejoin from Cabby. So it looks like the next episode that we will reach out for next year in 2023 will be the Ely 8 contestants remaining. That's right, because somebody is going to go home for next. So unfortunately, it's not going to be Nickel. So I'm sorry because I'm going to need to keep him longer at this point because now you know somebody had just already made a great win, Nickel Jr. But why not call Nickel to Dime, dang it? Oh man, I, I would have just called a Dime. Whatever, I guess you always win. And yes, Sushi has definitely uh, done a very best uh, part of the acting and Jazzy Oliver of Paintbrush doing really well. But I'm not sure about OJ. Who's going to replace it? Well, it's be determined at this point because that's a lot of knowing and knowledge out there. Anyway, without further ado, here's the next reaction. And that you could definitely tell by Candle and Yin Yang. Don't worry. Hope never forgets us. Life feels good to be true if you remember this one on the thumbnail picture. Well, life is good, but... Let's make this one the best reaction ever yet. Let's get started. Well, my little exterminators. Firstly, onto the immunity vote. That'll spare one of you. I'll bet those pets wish they had this. Pets! Pets! The yeah, it's supposed to be pets, not pest, filthy me phone. Try reconnecting your name. Or else you could have called Cat to pronounce it correctly. Or pronouncing things incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, now that's going to be a trick. Oh, first up, we have immunity votes. What am I going to do? Testing safe today is Yin Yang. Oh my goodness, I just chose it right. See, because you know that Yin Yang was definitely understanding the most votes. Oh my goodness, look at that. There is a new ranking in this section. Now that Balloon is in fifth. There's Cabby, as you see right here in four. Welcome back to the, the contestant of this episode's remaining of top five. Paintbrush gets a little bit, a little bit off the angle over here. I just really can't believe it. Yeah, that's still good to be true. And but in second place, which is looking very comfortable, a good spot. It looks like one of each, uh, one of each uh, contestants are making a clutch tiling to uh, to head to the finale of this season. So for next year, it will happen to be again a number 12. So you'll have to stay tuned for that one here because at this point, once 2022 is over, then we will reach out to 2023 for a new year. And we will be back on February for sure, if I'm correct. So enjoy yourself with the winter break. And also you can't forget about the uh, Christmas that I have here that is right in front of it. Look, there's the tree. See that? It looks like I am just filming it in here, but don't worry about that one here. But this tree looks gorgeous. Do you guys have a tree at your home? Let me know in the comments above below, because I would love to see how colorful yours. Anyway, back into it now. It looks like a yin-yang finally got one. I knew that yin-yang should say 
that you should approve for this season. But you should appreciate to everybody else here too, except for your pet that just lost Sparkle. Again, you could not vote for Nickel, and any vote for Yin Yang will be canceled out. I'll read the votes. Now it's time for the elimination. I got a little bit controlling myself, but Gold Coinies is just the name I'm going to recall, okay? So if you say Nickel, I'm reconnecting it to say Gold Coiny. Okay, Meat Bone? I'm watching you. First vote. The floor. The floor. Oh. The floor. That's three votes for the floor. Balloon. Wait a minute. Balloon. Is this going to happen again? Floor and balloon? I don't think that most people are going to choose balloon to be out. You know why? Because they really appreciate her and because of how well she has done. I mean, that was a very tough luck at that point. She did stay controlled. I mean, I got no uh, words to say. Let's see if it's going to be it. Please let it be uh, Floor. And I have not seen Floor being stomped out by Mephone after episode 7, stopping the castle of the sandcastle creation of the sinkers gone forever. So yeah, I'm thinking there's another one. I want to see that. Balloon. Three votes, floor. Three votes, balloon. Balloon. Three votes, floor. Four votes, balloon. Floor. Four votes, floor. Four votes, balloon. One vote, left. It's now the tie. Are you kidding me? You, you better stay back. Come on, Balloon. We need you here. We don't want you to leave. Come on, man. I, I know that Nickel is giving a hard look on that one here. I understand it. it's out of the way. You do not leave Balloon. Come on, man. Do not leave Balloon. I want her to keep her for good. You don't leave here. Come on, Balloon. Stay where you are. Don't leave. Please don't leave. Uh, Floor has to go because Floor is already finished right now. And I want to see Mephone step on him. Please. The Wait a minute. Why would they put the closed captions here? Someone flipped? I, I mean, somebody just flipped. I mean, I this did not happen before. What am I going to do now? Because that uh, someone flipped out? I mean, no question. Here it goes now. The 11th contestant were eliminated for the Anime Insanity Invitational is Please Do Not Be Balloon. On Anime Insanity Invitational, the floor. Yes! Yes! Woo! 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 Yes! Finally, Balloon is safe! Yes! <laughs> See? Just because you know that last episode of number six was last year's one, and that was Tea Kettle that was eliminated. Thank God again. That's two in a row. I would understand, though, that Floor, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Floor, but this is definitely the end for me. Now I should reveal it as me face for myself. Yeah, I have the Floor shirt. You could definitely uh, take a look at it if you want. I mean, you don't have to buy it, but if you want to purchase it, you got the Creator's Ink and the plushies here for sure. So thank you, Me Phone. That saved my heart. Wow, that was exciting. Yes, and that's three in a row now. Life is too good to be true. I mean it. But we had the thinkers back and silver. Thank you. Of course. I knew you didn't deserve our trust. No, he doesn't. But we don't need it. Just like you all don't need me. Kendall? So, I've taken my game into my own hands. And if- What do you mean taking over your games? What, what will happen to the other contestants? Will they never see you again? What do you think what will happen to the uh, to someone's replacement if somebody could not uh, take the game over it. You should know that this may happen once and for all. Please don't try to like take away from me, Kendall. I mean, I'm trying to stick with you. That's all I have to care about, you. 
Candle and Yin Yang are definitely the only power two I know. And I want to save Balloon because she is not done yet. I mean it. She's in the top five and I want her safe. If Nickel doesn't really receive anything, then you know that Balloon would have uh, bring Nickel back. But I don't want that. Who's going to uh, try to uh, keep it over to be the captain for each team? I don't think nobody is going to ever happen. Just leave it off to where it is with no teams remaining. That's it. There's nothing else to uh, compare from the team thinkers of the old one and none, none team pinkers. That's it. There's no other teams. That's just it. Try to beat my alliance. You will fail. <laughs> Then it sounds like it's game on. Hey, thinkers forever, right? Yeah, forever. <laughs> wow, didn't know you had the side to you. Thanks for saving us. Thanks for saving us. Oh, is that a little cute up there? It looks like a bat, of like a vampire out there. Why are you here? Do you have a pet name? Like, uh, like it copies you at the same time? Oh, baby, that is so cute. Except it's a little fangs for me. Looked like Halloween that passed already. <laughs> yeah, it's too late for that one here, but you got holidays up now. So it looks like uh, you got some moment to say, cheer buddies, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I guess not. Any last words for the floor? Nah, done ate him. Shoot. Oh, looks like me phone's not gonna step on him. So what's he gonna do? Is he gonna punch him? Or is he gonna step on him? What what is it? What is it? So Ow. Oh, you got me. My convictions will live on. I told you the punch thing we're gonna is not gonna work. I think you should step on it, uh me phone. You should step on him. Okay, well, nothing to see here, folks. Tune in next time to see how I fix any lingering problems that I totally thought through ahead of time. Next time on Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Dang it, it looks like I just don't know what to tell you. I thought Meat Phone was gonna step on floor. That would be really cool. But in fact, they're not gonna uh, show it to anybody else like that. So I guess that is the end for sure. I think that's definitely it. Well, I guess that is the end of reaction. What a savior for Balloon because I was nervous because Balloon was almost going to be eliminated. So I was so happy that my heart went back and that was definitely the best one. Now you know the new episode was the, was the takeaway over seven. Why? Because of because of uh, how much that that definitely give me a good life happen. Because at this point, you know, I like to keep balloon for just a couple of uh, episodes, and then she could be, excuse me, she could be in the uh, final four if she wants. But I don't know about nickel. I can't help that. So I guess the closing things off is animations incorporation. I guess that will be it. Thanks for joining us and hope you have a wonderful day watching the Inanime Insanity. Tune with us next time here as I will do the deals, episode 20, and then next year the playoff begins. So you make sure you keep your eyes tuned here because that will be the next one. All right, I guess that closes off for me. Thanks for watching and peace out fans for a while as the Inanime Insanity reaction dial of the Invitational of Elimination. See ya! Oh, right. Uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, press play. Animation. Whoa, that is a little creepy to hear that one anyway. Yep, there you go. Animations, Inc. Thanks for watching. See ya! And don't forget to follow me on my social media as well. See you next time. Also, a special shout out to one of each uh, cast crews that are playing by the bats of the of the pets: Diamond Crusher of Brian, Nickel Jr. on number one for Jazzy Oliver, Quacky for Michael J. Helton, Sprinkles for Mia Chapman, 
Then Montgomery of Indigo ZR Benson, Tootsie Wootsie of Justin Chapman, and Utter Filth Damian Valentin Tangi. So thank you everyone for the cast members to be checked in and be the host here for the special guest of the pets. I really appreciate you all. And Flamina of Tom Jennings up there. So with that, that is going to be it for now. See you again next time for another episode of next year. So I heard you guys have definitely have homes here since you are definitely in a good spot of it where you have some families and probably yourself here in the apartment after you finish your life. So with that being moment, I found another way that there is another choice that I have heard that Bo was playing basketball and definitely testing it out, the ability. But however, it seemed like the floor was definitely tripping on it. This usually happens to me just like real life happens. <coughs> Foul. Yeah, that was a complete mistake. But anyway, everything happens the same. Every life, you definitely would try to like explain it. And this is what happens, you get a foul. So at that point, I have to say that I try hard not to get a foul, but here is where I play here at home. So here it is. This is my home of the basketball court. This is what I definitely do. Shoot some hoops, play some a little dribbling move, and also play as well to go with the defenders. So yeah, if any of your friends can come up to my court and say, can we play together? Yeah, I could definitely do that. That will be a great offer. And with that being said, it will be hard enough for me to come. Anyway, enough of that talk. I think that is it of what my home looks like. Yeah, do you like it? Let me know what your home's is by leaving the comment box below. Anyway, let's get into the reaction. The Anime Insanity Invitational reaction starts now. Let's begin. <sighs> Okay, it's about that time to do another reaction. And this is the Inanimate Insanity Invitational, episode 12 and the start of 2023. That's right, because this is about the time after the finish of January for the off break. As I already did the Power of Two reaction of the Kick It Steak part, you could just go ahead and click up there if you want to go into my playlist section along with Jack and Jellify and my reaction. But this time, it's about that time to do it again. So as you can tell, the last episode here in 2022 of February was episode seven. As you may have already guessed it, that Cabby was already been eliminated, but not for long, she stayed here for just a couple of uh, episodes out on eight and nine. And now she has returned in episode 10 after the rejoin winner of Transformation. So I just remembered it that far, but because of Cabby was really thinking that she wants to keep her file and she may never know if she wants to come back. So with that being said, as you can tell, most of them have a lot of um, disabilities that could try to keep things over with, in and out, and try to maintain a contact with a good affability of my own time. And probably maybe you may have never heard of what's going on. Because of this one, I just can't remember uh, what was the last time I have done a reaction. Part of 2022. Oh, the last one, it was episode 11. And it was Floor that was gone in the game. But they haven't got rid of it. I don't know what they're going to do now. Probably bring it back in the season finale. That could be my prediction here because we don't know if Floor is gonna, never going to step on it because you don't want him to floor to get hurt. You, you seen that Yin Yang was punching? I mean, stop it. Please, Yin Yang. I, I, I don't think it's not going to work. Because, um, yeah, it, it's very difficult to try to, like, get rid of him for good. We don't want him to, re, um, to be getting hit and dead. I don't want that to happen. But in that case, if you guys can't remember this one, this is what I noticed. The puncher was trying to smash it again. Now, this episode is going to bring down to just a one 
player that will be an immunity winner and one person will be eliminated in the game. And as you may know, yep, I'm going to tell you this why. Well, it's because there are only Elite 8 competitors left. And we'll have to see who is the next one to be eliminated in the Elite 8 of this episode. So yeah, I just realized I count uh, 8 competitors already after 9. Now it's 8 competitors, but Floor does not seem to do anything right. So yeah, it's the biggest thing I would have to do. On his own way, finding a new home, I mean... Don't want to look at him or don't want to talk to him maybe i just don't want him to try to like sneak up right on me and try to talk or else i would get jumped up and get scared by someone so yeah i don't want that to happen anyway so now as you may have already heard that once the uh the next month has come to an off then looks like inanimate sanity will be turning 12 years old yeah, that is right, because um, just a couple of months is April, and I'll be turning up to 12. So, yeah, I, get, I can definitely tell you that they are pushing up it very fast. The day is going quick. I mean, not to tell you anything about this, but the moment I realized I was thinking of it, last time it was 11 years. Now it's turning 12 years old this year. Wow. That was last year, and you guys already remembered it. But now I'm thinking that this is going to be a, a fantastic, uh, great opportunity here for next episode to see what the annual is all about. So, if you don't mind, you'll try to keep your eyes up here as soon as it comes out here on April. March? No, because um, March Madness is underway. And I will be doing the deals as soon as I can, probably in the beginning or mid or end. I don't think so. Well, no choice anyway. So now, it is at that time again to get started. So, without further ado, there are eight contestants remaining. We have this Nickel, then it's Bo, then Candle, then Cabby, Silver Spoon, Paintbrush, Yin Yang, then Balloon. Yeah, these are the eight competitors left right now. But somebody else might be able to go up for a next elimination. So... If out for to do, let me get started right now. Here's number 12 elimination starting now. I want to clarify that whoever is voted out today will have to physically leave. I can't, I, I, I can't do this again. I need to hear a verbal agreement from each yeah. of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I understand what you're talking about, me, phone. I mean, I know that Flora was never able to leave the game. If you guys can't recall that when of how this happened in the beginning because I've always told that floor and it was not a joke that that most people were considering that they want floor to disappear but however he can't so you may not find him in the next episode if you're looking for him so don't be regretting on that if you're looking for anybody else that's that's the big deal because nobody wants to try to consider it as an option of keeping him in the game but keeping it on the island, but not playing on the game. That's the problem. So it's not really easy to try to let me agree with this. I'm going to have to like try to keep my mouth shut on floor. Because if I keep talking on floor, then me phone is going to say, dude, why are you talking to floor? Well, I, I was trying to tell him what is going on with him. Maybe he might just never notice. Please stay back. So I'll have to like stay back anyway. And try to go find another different spot where he doesn't come in. So, I don't know what to tell you. But it's going to be very hard to like make a tricky setup. So, don't be honest with you, okay? Anyway, that bow looks like it's gold. But I'm still keeping pink. Uh, don't call pink bow. Oh, and I have to say that it's not gold bow. It's pink bow. Just, um, just recall that one into bot. Because... Uh, the long legs, how it appears, like this one is already on here. I mean, I'm telling you this one here because that one's got long legs right there. And definitely, uh, her legs are doing really well. I said, do it. Just do it, Bo. And yeah, she did. Um, yeah, let me just go ahead and get started right now. Let me, I'll stop talking. I'll see what's going on. Oh, man. 
Cool, so you cannot vote for Bob. But do you want to guess who got immunity from the viewers for the sixth time? Oh, that does mean I got it for the sixth time. Um, oh wait, that's the third time. I, I definitely have to tell you this one because that really does it. Nice. It looks like that Yin Yang definitely did really well for the part of a season. Because you know that probably he can he can't really still get get underrated players because of this one that Yin Yang is an overrated contestant. I mean, what are the people gonna say? Are they gonna say that Yin Yang should be added a game? No, they're not, because I chose them to do it again, because that's my lifetime. So yeah, here you go, Bo. Unfortunately, you've been lost a couple of streaks here. Ooh, that might be Kendall coming in and Maloon trying to stay on top of it. I don't know what we'll do with Paintbrush, but don't guess on me, okay? So let me just think about it. Well, not if you're gonna be all passive aggressive about it. Listen, Yin Yang, you're great. Probably my second favorite contestant still here, but the game just can't be. I thought it was a top five that you really liked the competitors from last season. Oh well, I guess I have no uh, comments to say, but you got on your own. And so, there will be no more of your voting. What? So I manipulated them for nothing? Really? That is so rude there, me phone. Why are you saying that? Oh, that is so rude. I was very, really going downhill. Don't ever do that, me phone. That is very rude of you. Please stop. This is not going really well. Do not try to agree on me. I dare you not to do it again. That means the third time is a charm enough. So that does it to you. And because I get of yin yang, that's my goal option. So please keep me out here for good. And probably you might find me if I really wanted to give this one a shot. So as you may say, what's the big problem with you? No choice. I mean, uh, ooh, unpredictability. I'm sorry, I'm still on that second favorite contestant thing. Who exactly did you think you'd make happy with that comment? My second best friend has a point. I will be taking threes and sevens feedback into account. Now, on to the votes. First vote. Here he goes. Candle. Paintbrush. One vote candle, one vote paintbrush. Yin Yang does not count. Why was your hand like doing like this? It, it's it, don't try doing this because if you can put it like that, that'll be out of your goals. Don't try to like mess it. Paintbrush. Two votes candle. Two votes paintbrush. Candle. Wow. Paintbrush. Three votes candle. Three votes paintbrush. One vote left. Oh boy, this is going to be a very hard one to try to keep this up on the deck because I know what's going on with Paintbrush. Probably I can't say because of this one at all happened to me. And I was definitely was thinking of that one here. I try to let Jazzy Oliver try to like save it. Save yourself anyway, because he, he's really well better than uh, Taylor for him. Because I really don't have any of a regression. So... Um, I want to see what Jazzy Oliver does. I, I don't think Nickel will ever try to complain about the paintbrush how action he's doing with the with the tantrum of that torch. I mean, calm down! You're so angry, please settle down. Oh, don't be like a wimp. In fact, I am not really gonna uh, surprise myself because I don't really like to take the effort of ability. So uh if this really gonna happen to me like that, I don't think I would. So I think I am I'm out of options. I could be losing my power of the two because this time I think Ying Yang is the only option that I can do the rival eye of him. So it will be determined. I guess I'm gonna have to like not go with the answer. So okay, I'm gonna say none of it. I I'm gonna have to let me phone make a choice. So you take it instead. I'm scared of what's gonna be next. Here it goes now. Hate this. I really hate to do this. 12th contestant eliminated from an animate insanity invitational paintbrush. Damn! Wow! I was even saying that Jazzy Oliver of Paintbrush is gone. Oh my god, I don't even know what to tell you guys. 
because another veteran goes down. Maybe if you recall that one in episode 10 of Paintbrush saying, so sorry for you, Test 2, because I have been already been eliminated. First, it was Test 2. Then now, it was Paintbrush. Wow, I was disappointed of what's going on with this scene. Since he was the fifth, um, I'm not sure what to do with him. Because at this point, it really has to aggress me while I can try to like keep in tight with my good contestants that I still like. But I'm sorry, I did not vote for you there, Paintbrush, so I guess I'll have to keep one of him for good. So Candle and Ying Ying are still the best part of a Power of Twos. They're still good. That really keep me out of trouble. So with that one, sorry, Paintbrush. I, I could have just made the vote for you, but it's bad timing for me. So I decided not to do it anyway. Well, as you all know, another veteran goes down. Take this as proof that you were substantial. Paintbrush, I could never replace your real partner. Oof, I can't even imagine how tough it must be to leave here, huh? Okay, so like today was kind of a disaster, but most of the time, this place is paradise. Yeah. It was a fun vacation, Mifong. Oh, you love your vacation. Mm, maybe you can come back again for next season and try to go for a different planning of this vacation. Probably on summer vacation, you can definitely try to like visit around. And then after that, you can definitely tell OJ that I went to this paradise of this land. So I can tell you that one here. It might be my good time that I've already did the review of the skit, it was the uh, a reveal of OJ in a skit. If you see it before, well, except there's no uh, good sound and qualities at this screen, not a good camera movement, well, you uh, probably may not be able to do that one anyway. So yeah, give that one if you want. Click up there if you would like to go check it out. So I've got bad feelings to say, uh, who could be next elimination? Who would I have to pick? Is this going to be the only uh, person that I wanted to say? You tried hard. You did great, Paintbrush. It was the best part of it. I've always ever done it with you as much as I can. So, yeah, I could say that. Yeah, probably that. But my heart's just not really in it anymore. So, I think I'm ready to go home. I'm coming, Baxter. Oh, well, you're coming back? Well, in the season finale, you, sh you might have to come back anyway. So, yeah, come back in the season finale. So, enjoy yourself, Paintbrush. Your lifetime. Yes, this thingy, you still got it. All right, today, some of us pursued greener pastures while others stood their ground. Who will stick around and who will have to go? Find out on the next episode of... Inanimate Insanity Invitational. With assistance by me, bye. Hey, Floor, why did you come back in here? Are you kidding? Oh boy, I don't think this might not be a good choice. You know what? I'm going to pop into another room. So, yeah, see you later. Bye. Jeez. This really has to understand it. What's going on with this guy? Well... Without a life, I mean, I have no other choice what to say about him. I could have just made the vote, but it's too late. So I have to keep uh, Ying Yang for good. Prioritize to respect that point. They should know the truth, not Nickel or Balloon. Everybody does. I know this would happen. Yo, kid, what's up with you? You? It, oh, jeez. You just always found me. What's going on? How, how could you not even just try to, like, uh, understand about me? This really is trying to make me feel bad. How could you? I couldn't even count this. I could have tried to vote, but it's already been closed. So I couldn't try to, like, resist it. So with that... I'm sorry, but 
This elimination should never let you uh, depend on us. So I felt bad. And I could have tried to like vote for you in between by the two. But I don't want to do that. So I have to only choose one and try to stick it up. Because that's the point of what I usually do. I'm sorry, Paintbrush. But this all has to happen. It should never be happened like anybody. Uh, don't be that, that bad. It's very a good try. But please, be honest with you. Always know the right time. And with that, if it's too hard, get over it. Don't have to be sorry to yourself. Even most people really uh, get confused already. Most people always get forgiveness. And I forgive myself. Hey, listen to me. Whenever you tell somebody the truth, you can just say to them, hey, I already uh, made a vote. But I will promise you, I will vote for you too. It's only for me. Don't tell anybody else, including me, phone. Just keep me in privacy. Okay? That's it. End of the story. What do you think? Sounds complicated. Not, but great choice. Yeah, it definitely has to understand it for me, you know? But hard part, I will never go down like anybody else. Well, feels good. And I gotta say that most other people might consider you to be back here for next season. Probably you'll be in the season finale and then you will be heading towards the break before the new season arrives. Don't have to explain yourself, but you, you will be okay. And hey, you can go out with me sometimes. What do you say? Want to give that one a run? Oh, you bet that one, baby. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's very good. I wish a Silver Spoon the best of luck. And for always important, he has to know to trust. I promise you will keep it for, uh, for good. Probably you can just uh, give him a trust, would you? Sure, definitely would give him trust. At least if you can try to like uh, show respect for myself. Nah, I'm just kidding. I know for sure. Every time now and then, it might be me and you. So, we'll be gangsters. What do you say? Sure do. Well, this is going to be a lifetime. And with that, we'll see what other competitors do for the next part of the episode. I will be watching them anytime back at the hotel. OJ will be impressed of you. They're going to need you here. With that, enjoy the rest of your trip. Be very careful getting home. I trust you. Forgiveness? Forgiveness it is. Well, been a great time with you. I'm gone. Enjoy yourself, along with Flower. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And also keeping my wife here, too. You're the best. Thank you so much. Have a great night. You too. I sure bet that Paintbrush will be back here soon. He will definitely be around here for the island. Like he knows him for sure. Oh, you guys are watching me. I'm sorry. Probably you never noticed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video here of the reaction of the Inanime Insanity Invitational. It was very tough though, but uh, no need to consider yourself that is bad. It was very tight. Very great episode here. I mean, very well to uh, have my home. Hopefully, uh, Paintbrush will be back home here in the Hotel OJ before coming back to the season finale. So, in that case, I guess I hope you all enjoyed it that time. And the next episode will be number 13, 12 years old of Inanime Insanity 
on April. And then you'll see how this goes for, say, wish you all the best of luck here with seven contestants remaining here in the game and elimination. So keep your uh, contestants with you. Don't switch to anybody unless if you trust them, if you have a top rankings of the contestants in between, like you have it on your list. So yeah, can't go wrong with that. Anyway, I guess this one comes to a good place to be. Thank you for watching. And I hope you all see you again here for the next part of the reaction of the Anime Insanity Invitational. Make sure to subscribe to uh, Animation Epic. And also you can subscribe to one of our the substitutions of the, the creators of Adam Katz, Brian Coach, and Justin. As for right now, you might have all of your decision if you want to give that one a run. So yeah, go ahead. Give him a try. And thanks for watching. Peace out everyone for a while as the Inanime Insanity Invitational Reaction Dial. This is Son of Beast. Thanking you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. I'm watching you all. Until we meet again. Bye now. Well, it's a new episode here of the Inanime Insanity Invitational. Uh, I was not going to watch it any time, but uh, you want to stick me up to it? Okay. Fine, Son of Beast. I know you're definitely going to give it to me anyway. But in that case, this moment has really yet turned to be a breaking point. Because now, there's only the three, and there's only a couple of the teams that are not able to go with uh, Yin Yang or Cabby. I'm not really entirely sure of what will happen. And a question over here for Bo. Right over here. She is different. She's now a butterfly. Did Balloon help her create this? I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Or did it, did Nickel and Balloon create her? A Bobot as a butterfly. Well, I'm not even sure what it definitely has happened. That's like a miracle to have a spring in between us. And definitely by then, if you don't even recognize what this episode looks like, it's the same thing that definitely does happen with episode eight, that the butterfly was there. I wasn't even trying to think about it, what was in the background of it. And for Nickel telling the little uh, backstory of what would happen, it rarely caught her on. And he did say, and she was thinking that he said to her, you're a murderer. Well, I'm not gonna try to think about it ahead, but not when Son of Beast said, he said this in front of Nickel to try to stop him. Nickel, why would you do that? That's my lover. You better not do that. I'm very sick of you. And I was saying that you want me to stick back to Nickel? Well, F you then. I don't even care about you because whatever happens to you, I am going to get really pissed off and that's because of you being, being scrumptious at me. I had enough. Son of Beast, that's my lover. Clover is my lover. Yours is Flower, so stick your lover. And don't even try to like mess her up. It's my lover and I want her to come home. Never that, I don't have any much time left to do. So, anyway, moving on. This really has to say that everything is like changing. No immunity votes. It looks like they give it to Balloon, the immunity winner. And then that occasionally, the immunity milk is another way for your for the team in between Cabby and Yin Yang. Hmm. Huh. If I would drink a bunch of milk, I mean, I would definitely just go buffed all over it. Maybe I just do not want to do that. I would just save a little bit more, more energy, try to uh, relax and then drink again. I mean, it's good for your bodies too. I mean, your bones will have a strong, uh, full potential in that moment. It helps you grow. Well, if you got milk, 
You can definitely grow on your own. You'll never shrink down like me. If I grow, I can definitely play just the right height and then shoot better at it. That would be great. I like that. Anyway, for that being said, Mr. Beast is getting ready to start reacting to this video. There are seven competitors remaining in the island, and one of them are going home. So, without further ado, it's time to find out who's the next one going to be. Well, they made a decision, and now it's on to elimination time. Well, let's get going. In three, two, one. Wow, everyone looking so confident, so smug. I thought that was my job. Oh well, before we read the votes, Yin Yang, you have a big decision to make. Will you be taking the sip of safety or will it be a potentially un- And yes, that's the milk that you're looking at it if he's uh, grabbing that one over there. That is definitely milk. So, mm hmm yeah, make your decision now. Quenched exit. I think we're good. They'd be fools to take the risk on this. Then consider us fools. I mean, we already did, but I'll make this quick. We're not budging. If one of you doesn't drink up fast, you'll be joining the losers yourselves. We've got this. It's on you guys. I mean, I don't care. I don't say anything, but I'm just going to keep it silent to myself because I don't really focus on my attention this one. So it really has turned out that these are the twos over there. So it's Cabby and Yin Yang. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess you have your take. And then the elimination will be the next one to determine. Here it is. Oh, so now it changes. So this time, any cast here for Yin Yang will count. So that means the votes have overturned. So yes, I knew. Definitely the last time it was not a count, does not count. Because of that, it won't be. So they're not chugging the milk down, they're just gonna leave it here. Well, I guess you have your option now. Maybe it might be a shocker elimination. Well, decision starts now. This is it. This only has to count down for just one left. I have a bad feeling. It looks like we're going to lose another uh, power because me and Clover definitely always consume the options for a candle to stay in the game. But it looks like that Yin Yang might have been gone into the dark side. It looks like it might be a problem. So it might be the biggest failiest of all, I don't know what will happen. So it looks like this could be it. I got no question to ask, but in that occasionally, Yin Yang did stay very long though, from the first episode to the start. And he was a veteran contestant that had started it from season two of last season. And Candle did start it this season, which is now. But I don't know about Cabby. Hmm. If there is another file there, I would just leave it. I don't think she would be able to uh, be eliminated. Why? Well, I'm not really sure what's going to be. Because I got a strange feeling. I have a confidence right now. I, I'm going to say my prediction for the, uh, for the elimination. I'm going to have to say that this has to end now. I'm going to make the make a I'm gonna make this one quick because right now at this instant I've only have candle I think we may have a choice for option so me and Clover did choose it 
while nickel's still in the game, I don't have any regressions on that. I'm going to have to come back later when it comes down to five. Probably on that occasion, it's going to be tough. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm sure I'm ready. It looks like Ying Yang could be the next one out. Or Candle. I don't know. Don't judge me because I don't have any beer. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, I lost one. So this is something I did not really expect that it was coming flying by. That means there's only one or two fan contestants left. So it looks like that candle is out. Well, Sorry, Clover. It looks like we lost one. And I guess that the day was a bit of an end day for us. So after Clover out in the eighth episode, then Candle out in the 13th episode. Wow. I mean, I have no other uh, consuming options at this point. I mean, no choice. Because of this moment, it really has turned out that it was a shocking elimination. Just like as you recall it back from episode 12, that paintbrush is out. Well, I guess now, I guess we only have one power left and we fail at all. No, we're not going to fail at all, I tell you not. But nice to see Bo. It looks like that is different. Hmm. Thanks anyway. I guess I have a lot of a contemptuous feeling of what it will look like. Well, I guess you have that point. So, Son of Beast, we did have another contestant go down. I will say that she did well. Well, I guess that faith will never let us down. So, yep. Congrats with that one, Yin Gang. You're the only one left of the veteran. Say, fool me twice. Balloon, I, I don't know what you heard. I heard everything, Nickel. I guess none of it's real anyway. Wait a minute. Is this where the flashback sends you down to season two of what happened with the glacier? I don't even think this is going to ever happen. I never see that one coming by. How could Balloon never swear that Nickel was there? I never really noticed what was going on. I never see that coming. No matter what I do, you still can't move on from what's happened in the past. You always just see me as helpless balloon, floating around, no direction of my own. So I'm focusing on the future. No, I, I don't see it that way at all. If this is about the cookie thing, that was just to make them feel comfortable. Them comfortable, not me. Because it was never real between us. You said it yourself. And history repeats itself. I suppose this is what you wanted, Nico. An outcome you didn't want. How was this even... Wait. Nico, from this day on, and for the rest of your life, I wish you luck. Now, this is what we're talking. I guess, yes. I wish you best of luck. And Nickel doesn't even get it. He doesn't really notice. Now it looks like the hope is really trying to like go back towards downwards. Well, it looks like when the next episode comes in, I am going to try to refuse to Nickel. I'm going to talk to him of what happened. Because at that point, I'm going to meet him in the court. No, I'm not really kidding because of what did happen. So when it gets close, I'm going to talk to a nickel and see what happened and what just happened with the luck, because you can't deal with believing anybody. you got to stay the focused way. That's the choice. So with that, I have no considerations. None of it. I keep you, Clover. And this is why it's me and Clover's luck, not you, nickel. 
rest of your life. And I died today. The luck curse, it's broken. Then I guess we know where we stand without your luck in the way. Well, just now, it looks like it is definitely it. I think Nickel is the dark side. I'm gonna say now, yes. But what is the problem? It appears the student has become the teacher. Your loyalty ultimately paid off. And I'm sorry I foolishly withheld mine from you. If it's any consolation, I'm rooting for you. Good game, Candle. Now that's a good relationship. I say good game to Candle. And Ying Yang is the only one left that I have. So, looks like we have you left. And Candle, I hope um, your gravity meditation will help you rise. Because of that one, we, all the butterflies did bring Clover up in the air without a punch fist stinging. Is this gonna happen again? Probably. She, she might flow up in the air. And uh, Candle might be coming out with the, with the flare. You're still about Edith, though. <laughs> that I am, Yin Yang. That I am. Yeah. And for your loyalty, Silver. All right. It seems the day of betrayal has concluded. Candle. Oh, wait! <laughs> it's too late, Silver Spoon. I don't have any uh, competitions to say about this, but... Oh, well. I guess you keep it. So now, it's only you. I'll try to see if I can talk a good in British accent, too. I can do that. And I feel betrayed by her pathetically calm reaction. What fun is that? Anyway, with the majority alliance blown wide open, it's anyone's game to win. Who will make history, and who will fall behind the times? Find out next time on the Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Animation. And that is it. I guess now I see you. That's me. Yeah, I'll switch it. I know. You want to see my face? I've never done a face reveal in many weeks. I never spied you guys. I'm very dead sorry. Please forgive me, I would. I'll try to pay respect to everybody. Who really wants to give a good look out of it. Anyway, I guess that really has to end it up. So it looks like six competitors are left. So we only have a couple more comp competitors to go. And with that moment, if you stick around here for deals, once I finish this, it will be new. Again. So you'll see how this one goes. I mean, I will try to like delete these scenes because one of them are very long. I won't try to take offensive at this point. I will just try to see if I can do this one right. Anyway, so what else for being said right now for you all guys, whoever takes the, uh, the truth, we've always appreciate your work. It's how what the life gives on. When you get this thing done, get it done. That's my message to everybody. And to a candle, you would have uh, meditation to relax and stay calm as you have, have approach. So at that point, be very good on your side. Just let it deep in and let it extend out because you'll never know what's gonna happen here when you're real life. So that, I guess that's it for the reaction. Thank you guys for watching. And this is Chris the Beast on Son of Beast. Peace out everyone for a while as the an enemy insanity invitational reaction dial. All right. I guess it's the time. Ooh. Yeah, I got to get going right now. Anyway, I'm out of here. Ready, Clover? We're off to do it again. Yep, I am ready. All right. Let's give it a run. It's showtime. Especially with the plea for all of you people here. I wish you all luck, too, where you're one of your favorite contestants. Just go easy. Make it clear. Well, this goes with the best. 
Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe to his channel, of Son of Beast. If you don't, and I'm out of luck, somebody will do it. I will, maybe. <laughs> you honestly will do? Mm-hmm. I might. Well, just do for your best at, at all. And make the viewers happy. I will. Bye-bye, everyone. When you wake up in the morning feeling slow and depressed, you need a balanced breakfast cereal to bring out your best. You can step into a brand new you. Spring, 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 plastic. Sink into a bowl of sugar, milk, and plastic. A toy in every box, frosted with tar and silicone. Wow. You never have to feel alone with spring plastic. Part of a complete balanced breakfast. And there she is. That was Zooey Left Foil. That is the one that she got a special guest here part of the show. And nice to have a 90s commercial of with this part of a breakfast. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Because of that, I was pretty concerning of how well she did. I mean, wow. I mean, this is like a dream, like, and this is amazing. I don't think they're never going to offer anybody one, a breakfast one. Maybe it's not going to be available. So yeah, I'm not pretty sure if I would take that as my answer. So yeah, I love that Springy was definitely one of the biggest concerns. I've never seen it in my life. Probably I've never heard of it, one of the Jingles commercial, the cereal box, part of a delicious breakfast. I always seen it on TV. But thanks for Zooey LaFoy, big shout out to you. And also Jazzy Oliver, he knows it and definitely got my name down. Yep, big shout out to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate and all with the signing autograph. And this was the best time here for the anime insanity of the experience show for the first one. Yeah, I know I didn't get to uh, see this in the beginning, but now I definitely did get to see one in real person. So, yay, tricky for that. On to reaction. Okay, sorry guys. I definitely got finished off to that one here because something really was exciting right now. So, I now know that this is the part of it that they finished a part of a contest of this part for the spring into breakfast. That was the part of a contest that I have never seen it, what was going on up there. And that key moment, I just really found it out that most of the fans were gasped out at each character that were coming back in just one season ago. And this season that happened already with the elimination, they've already just noticed about each other, like from their partners that they already have done it before. So the first one I got my eye on was Candle. Even though she was out and eliminated in the last episode as I already reacted to, it was the part of a dreamlike and meditation. That was part of Decash and I definitely know I definitely got to meditate and relax my part of a yoke of possession. But that's a good thing to have it on my own. Yeah, definitely you got a great picture of that one here. I really enjoyed it. On the other side of it, it's Suitcase. The second one I was not really noticing what it was going to be like. It was one word that really never caught me on in season two. I never reacted to this. I already told you guys, I from the first episode as I started for the reaction, I don't react to every season of the anime insanity. This one's really important because that was really that tough. I mean, now I can't even remember about the suitcase one. And yeah, the final four was cut short by the Sandy. But in that case, and the final one was Test Tube in Episode 10 Elimination. I don't have anything else. That creative was putting up the biggest moment. I now know that it was going to be Test Tube, but unfortunately, no real talk. Well, you'll have to find out. I don't know what will happen here because I get it. Maybe there might be one way to get this over. And with that, 
this is what the episode is going to be look like. Spring into elimination. Well, there are contestants that left already, and man, man, I mean, not a good option. Because these two were gone. Yin Yang and Balloon. And that's the case, but you've already seen it before if you're on episode 11, at the start of an episode, and the end of it. Well, now you can definitely say that one again for yourself. So, before we get into elimination, let's me have a quick look at this. Here goes now. I'm back from my fucking... Uh, oh, what did I miss? The spoon is evil! Spoon is evil? I mean, yes, really, come on now. Everyone understands that Spoon is so evil. I mean, you can't just let it get away with it. Now, if you can definitely try to meditate us, I will still not try to concentrate yours. And you won't be my charming at all. Now you're talking. You don't deserve what you said. Okay, uh, please, 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 please. Uh, don't get me too close anyway. Don't try to do this to me. I warn not to you. Don't do this. Please. As I looked on here on the wiki, this one's the one that I definitely remembered it because we know Suitcase and he also plays the floor and window. And that guy name is Samuel Formbury. And yes, that was the guy that we have seen here before on the stage here. That was the last one that we did remember it. And yeah, that was the part of the year on the Experience show that we definitely did see him on stage. I mean, I got great questions out of it, and he made a great comment with that one here. I appreciate you here, Samuel. Also, a shout out to you. And yeah, um, that is the one that you looked at the meeting over there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Very awesome. But I wonder what's going on with them. Maybe there might be a consuming option. What is the choice? I gotta go with the figure. I want him gone! Either we vote him out, or I'm using him for my soup! Hot soup! I was thinking we should vote for... You know, I know what it's like to not be heard. I think he's a good pick. And do we drink the immunity milk? Oh no! Hey, we'll follow your lead. Well, there it is now. I definitely am ready to see what is going to happen with that one, and this is why that gives me crazy. I mean, I don't know why Nicholas is crazy. I mean, come on, man. Why, why do you have to always be so mean like that? I don't have no other concessions to make a story out of it. So, yeah. Yep, it's fight time for the end. As you can see right over here on the left hand of my corner, that was the one that you already have seen Nickel here. It was the first one part of a BFDI TPOT reaction of this one. It was not consuming, like it was going to be an option for it. Like he would care about it to stay in the game. It was all that happens. He wants to try to like try to like put a concern on most believing players that he wants to trust. Not even if he makes a mistake on anything, banning from the picnic tables. But some of them can't help. It's the most ridiculous moment I don't really like because all that happens from episode 6, he always gets a pie out of it. And look at himself in the face. Look at him. You can't really just say that, oh wow, you are so, so, uh... Silly like a clown, and all they could say that the children's always laugh. I mean, they always crack their heads up and then go like, Ha 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 ha, you're so funny there, Nickel. I mean, get even erased by anybody. You can't just really be serious like that. Oh, he's so, so funny. <laughs> I can't just really do that much. I would always squirt my voice. I mean, sorry, I can't do. In fact, I definitely did know the appearance for once. I gotta start remembering of what my communication has to go with my consequences in between the range of me and Flower. While Mr. Beast has it with Clover, of course. 
but consuming to have the poor enrichment. Hmm, I definitely may have to go with that. You know what? If I want to serve here for Mr. Beast, I want to do something that is better than that. But I gotta like try to like keep on going. Well, for the elimination on the other side of it, I also have it with me. So here are my other guys that will be up for part of it to watch the elimination. And here they are. Meet the one and only Mr. Paintbrush. And that is me. I mean, this is amazing to have us here. I mean, I, thanks for bringing me here to watch my reaction of it. I've always missed everybody, but I always like to be watching here on TVQ too. And 90s one, if you're a part of it, uh, like a spring tastic uh, childhood breakfast favorite. I mean, I, I couldn't eat that much. I mean, if someone does, maybe they can go with that. And you guys, too. I mean, good shout-outs for you guys. And the other side, Life Ring! Hey, you've never seen what everybody does like that. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in. Anytime. And now for the moment, where the uh, reaction elimination comes down to this. This is what everyone does. And for the end of the 2022-23 year of the season, because of this point, they are off and back to return for next year for the part of the 23-24 to 24 year of the season with new episodes. You'll stick around here after the summer break is finished. Beginning on October 2023 of the fall, and with that one, we can definitely try to kick back into it and then go with more. Especially the skits here too, which will be the next one to come out. And my new movie is coming out. Um, my project I have always made, um, since the pandemic I've already made. I mean, I had no other concerns about it anyway. So uh, what's the fact with that? But hopefully in that case, it's going to happen now. So, looks like it is. Are you ready, guys? You know I am. You know what? We're always counting on you. We are always doing it. Yeah! And we are set! Fire it up! Elimination time! We've made it through a real long, moneyless, childhood, idol-killing day. So let's cut to the chase. Yin Yang, if you would like to play your milk, now would be the time to do so. If you tell me what to do again, I'll rip out your dumb innards. Yang, what has gotten into you? We will not, sir. So any vote for Yin Yang will count. This is going to happen again because this is never going to happen with anybody else like that. And you always know for last episode, this was the start for it, and the milk does it all. Yeah, you can't even explain what everyone does here for now. The rejoin of Cabby from the elimination that happened in episode 7. I mean, that was like the biggest moment I've always seen what happens, especially with my gear. Yeah, I mean, that was the biggest fear. I mean, that is the biggest concerns about that. I prove that she will be able to stay safe. I prove that the next one could be the tough decision to make this one in there. And so as that, it might be the tough one and everyone knows. And especially you, son of beast. Oh. Huh. Uh, you can always say that one here again, if you mind. So, yeah, it's gonna happen now, so maybe there might be a one way. But I want to keep his money. I want it to go that way. So, let's face it. Okay, you have the option. But you have Yin Yang, of course. You've always shown in that one anyway. Yeah, don't try to meditate yourself, young man. You don't want to have your uh, hard time with your feelings. Also, you lost candle with that one, which won't be the urge discussion to make. And that's what happens. Remember the last episode that Mr. Beast always has to talk to Nickel about it? Because this is what everyone does. Don't try to get rid of it. Yeah, I understand that one here. It's the moment I really do for that. Thank you, Mr. Beast, for reacting for the last episode of the elimination. I always appreciate you that. Now I understand why it does happen. Because it does really happen. Hmm. 
It might be a good place for everyone who likes to have a good breakfast cereal that I always do for the everyday morning routine. I always do that. But my new skit will be the next one to be reaching out with the newer height of this one. So keep your eyes tuned. I will give you a little discussion here for later. But right now, let's go with elimination. Carry on then. We want it now. It's on. Oh, yes. Here it goes. First vote. Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon. Yin Yang. Yin Yang. We're tied. Two votes Silver Spoon. Two votes Yin Yang. Yin Yang. That's two votes Silver Spoon. Three votes Yin Yang. One vote left. Oh no! I can't let this power go with that strength. You gotta commit this! If there isn't another way, then you'll lose everything. Remember what they say, you can't win it all, and you're never gonna win the fight. Even I'm out in episode 12, and I am out in episode three. That was all it did. So what are you gonna do now, man? Are you gonna go for it, or lose it? That always makes me want to think I want to do. You know what? I am not gonna lose y Yang Yang for sure. Come on, man. I've always trusted him. He really does it for me. And it needs to be saved again, once this happens. I have a confession to make with this. It's all what I don't. And these guys over here that me and Flower were trying to connect to each other. We're trying to make us feel like we're thinking together. But it may not be. I guess I'm going to go with that. I'm going for Yin Yang to keep him safe. I'm going for it. Yin Yang, I'm coming for you. Be aware. And the final vote is... Silver Spoon. We are tied. <gasps> per the rules, we can have a revote. Silver Spoon and Yin Yang. You cannot vote. Everyone else can only vote for either of those two. I counted it. I just did. It's my only part of a destiny I always did. I can't let this happen like that. When this is like the same thing like you did, it was always you, Yin Yang. But you, Life Ring, this happened to you with the tie in this game. The same thing happened. You were the only one that was tied up. That was it. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to like try to like, uh, keep it on going again. I mean, you don't have to do this anyway. I mean, don't be, uh, don't be upset by anybody. You know, we try to trust you. I mean, I'm your lightsaber. You can always bet on me. But I never want to really want to improve everybody. You've always got to commit it. You've got to show the spirit of it. And also, think happy. You've got to commit to it. It's a hard way to learn it. That's what everybody does. They knew it. Now, they won't count Silver Spoon. So, Silver Spoon, you're set. You're back in the game. Oh, fine. Good enough for me, anyway. And then I also definitely would like to keep an eyes on that target right now. Especially to you, there, son of beast. And you, Paintbrush, you should never do what I say. Understood? Well, if it's only the way that you have to keep on coming down, you've got to commit it. Respect to it. It's all yours. Do the best as you can. Thank you. And to Royal Highness of the Crew, thank you very much. And always the better plan. Looks like the three are down for up for the dead to be eliminated. I can't. I can't. Nothing's gonna happen. I don't think this is ever gonna happen. The last time I chose it was Nickel. Oh no. What was the biggest concerns about it? Because episode six was really the, the worst thing that's ever gonna happen. I can't make a commitment to this. Guys. Guys, help me. 
I gotta do something else like that. I have to do this. I gotta think back again. Why? Well, the, I'm on the third chance. I'm at the bottom of my line. You better not take it away. Give it back, me phone. Or else I'm going to crush you with this giant spike bomb. Oh boy, this is not good. I'm I'm at the rope. I'm at the I'm at the end of my line. Here I come. I have nothing to do but to lose this. My job needs to do something else like that. I have to do this. Nickel, I'm coming for you. Uh, sir, son of beast, don't try to hesitate yourself. I can't help you. You're gonna have to give it up on me. What? No, I can't. Yes, you can. You could just keep Ying Yang, but you won't have to worry about me. I will be fine. Nobody will never know. It's gonna be very hard on this on myself. How come I can't do this? Just do it for yourself. I will talk to Mifo. I'll make the judge out of it. If I'm, I'm safe, you'll be fine. If I'm gone, you'll have to give it up on your own. And go with Ying Yang on your own. With you, Flower, Clover. And Mr. Beast. These are the only options I never know. You guys know my name. My family. Your family? Why? Is that a thing? It is. I want to save it. I've got to do it. I will have to. Just give it a try. If you would, you're accepted. If you don't, you're on your own. I'm going for it. I'm absolutely gonna go for it. Oh boy, here we go again. He is gonna definitely do this. Well, he might be saying it because I know from the, from the Team Sinkers, he's definitely with us. Uh, yeah, I always know that Nicholas is only the one left, but Balloon, it, it's not gonna be very that challenging for us to do this. But how is it gonna be happening like that? Well, You'll see. It might be a tough decision. We can't lose it all. Nobody can. And no one does it for all. You have your own. Not necessary. We loony balloonies will not be changing our votes. Hey, you're not. I'm the balloonie. My audience will not be changing our votes either. I'd reconsider if I were you, Cabby. Nickel, Balloon, and Bot. If you cannot reach a unanimous decision, Yin Yang and Silver Spoon will become immune. Joining Cavi, who won today's challenge, and Balloon, Nickel, Bot, one of you will be eliminated at random. Are you willing to put yourselves at risk? Can you please not send one of us home when we can easily avoid it? We're supposed to be the final three! Let's talk about this! Oh no. I don't have any decisions to make in this one because this is definitely what the, the dynamic duos and the trios, I think this might be the only last two that might be happening like this. It's going to be definitely Balloon and Nickel because it, there is no other option. I don't have anything else to say with this. I am definitely going to be doing this anyway, so I'm sorry if I put it at risk, but it's never going to happen to be the same thing. I don't know what will happen with Bo. If it's going to be Bo and Nickel, what could that figuration be? I can't really just make that one too hard of a decision to make in their own lives. If there is another way to do this one, I don't want to make this one too bad. And the toughest mother of Tea Kettle will not be trying to like reconnect to this progress. All she knows is try to like behave. That's all they do. And you gotta believe yourselves, two of you. Here it goes. I can't help it. I'm scared. But I wouldn't trust a thing I hear. And if that's the last time I need to hear someone put me down, it's worth the risk and more. It ends now. Then tiebreaker it is. 
I've always been quite fond of these lights. Can't go to bed without them. Mm. <laughs> nice light, baby. I can have nice things. Balloon, nickel, pot. Pick one. Hold it tight. I can't really do this right now. These light bubbles are not going to be my only thing if I go make them sleep. And if I put him into sleep, this might help me relax my brain. Yeah, cheer yourself up, man. I mean, you gotta always gotta know that. Yeah, do it on your own. Just try to reconnect. Go with the figure. You guys got it now. Except to go out with one of them. If it goes out, so do you. And I always think about that one here. If it does go out, I mean, I always will lose the challenge. And I will be sorry, Mr. Beast, if I always can't make the job done. I really want this to happen. And you all viewers, you have to help me too. I don't want you to lose me. Please. And not with Chris Sonic Guy. I don't want to do this anymore. Please don't try to, like, get away from me. At all. Please? Choose wisely. Oh boy. Well, good luck. Ready? And here it goes. Reveal. Uh... And with that, Bot, you're our fourteenth eliminated contestant. Bot? I I I can't go back. I'm not ready. I'm not right. I'm not You are. Chance you'd want a co-host? Co-host? Mascot? I think I'm done with other people's labels. Oh, so it's still alive. It's still back. And the moment of this one, the bow revealing bot is gone. I know this was a tough decision. I know that it was going to be for us. All we know is all we're always screaming, and I can definitely feel like Bobot is out of the game. I was feeling like very like depressed. I mean, I was like shocked already. I mean, this was like the biggest part of it I never heard. Especially when I was always in the theater, they always hear that explosion in the loudness in the city. I never seen how this one goes, but this is why you don't have to like go with your own. You just gotta like show it to each other. You just have to like keep it going with you. And if something happens, something uh, doesn't seem right to you, you have a problem, I mean, fix it yourself. You gotta always have it, just like Bobot does. Stay in one place you can. And finally, Nickel is the last one to be ha having the fourth chance just now on episode 14. I'm going to have to go with Nickel and Yin Yang to go with the two. I'm going to keep these two. And finish it off from here. I'm sorry, Bobot. I couldn't just keep it going with your votes. Because of that, I wasn't in until episode 5 was released. So I didn't get a chance to choose you. But it all knows it was the masterpiece of it to have this bow pink to white as a butterfly bow. I always understand it because that always gives us luck with our team. And you can't always agree with it. Well, I guess that it is. It time to settles. It's go time. Time to fly away. We will remember you, bot. Always. Thanks for the memories. And there you have it. That's what happens when two alliances get so caught up in their own drama that they force out the greatest player. Uh. How will the best of what's left rebuild what's been broken? And what we do think, what will this always happen with? Is there another situation we always can do? I mean, it's tough to make my alliance to have one. But what will the connection be for Yin Yang and Nickel? What will the figuration be? 
There's only one choice to find out and get back into this one for the new part of the season in 2023-24. to 24. And that be the moment you've been waited. Hey, it's always a nervous between us and to each other, infinity and beyond. And as are always being said, find out yep. next time uh, on Inanimate in Sanity Invitational. Is this the end? Of course it's not. Oh my gosh, we are going back to the indefinite island. Since we remembered it before, um, with the rejoin that I definitely did react to on episode 10. That was the last one I remembered it. I don't believe it. This is like the only part of it in the mysterious place. I can't really just understand it because I know this is why I definitely did happen right now. It's one of the best. Oh my gosh. We're back in again. What's up with this now? Let's find out. Hey, Goo. It's she's back. Oh. You okay. made it. Oh no. You made it. And yay, you made it. Look at you. It's, so it's a cheer factory. What? Is that what I'm looking at? That can't be! I don't really know how to say this, but... This is what the dream looks like. Oh my gosh! How can I always remember this? This is like the only thing I never don't even explain that! It's what I always don't. Wow. It's that appreciation. I don't even remember this from episode 10. From the indefinite island. It was only that. Oh my gosh. The fans already here definitely realized they just knew Test Tube was... Wow, I mean, they were fake, but now it is revealed. I don't believe it. That's why you can't just really get rid of her. I mean, not for once. Wow. What a comeback tout. About me. With Cheer Factory. Without the science gal. You can't really get rid of it. What a epic. Hey. Oh. Oh, uh, this is like the happiest ending, and I can't just really think. Oh, and there's the bat. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you could definitely always say, say that. I mean, yeah. That's definitely true. They definitely can't never forget each other. Wow. What a happy feeling about episode 14. And that's why you know, that's the reaction, that you always can't go with the flow. This is the happiest day of my life. And I always know that you guys have always been watching this before here, since you guys already know that. Um, the best thing that happened to me, it was the biggest story that I always ever mention it. With the comeback win, in between the range of Joel and Bead, I know that, but this episode really does tell that it was the moment I just remembered it. So this is why this important episode was really coming together. And that is why you gotta believe them. Every spirit you know, not with a little crazy nickel out that point, but you, you're not going to get that fact. Don't try it. But this is why you always remember it, because if you have dead friends, you haven't seen them for a long time, you've always got to know the truth. 
I hope that there is one. Well, I guess not. So I guess that settles it every day. And to you all viewers, a combination of the BFDI TPOT and an Anime Insanity Invitational was the new part of the episodes we did get to see. And it was exciting, like we always heard of it before. I was thrilled. How about you? Well, you've played, figured it all. Thank you for watching. Peace out, folks, for a while as the In Anime Insanity Invitational Reaction Dial. This is Son of Beast. You can find me on my social media. The links are in the description. But watch out. This new episode of The Deals will be happening soon. Don't get spoiled by Nickel, unless if you ruin enough with a lot of information. Hey, don't try to make a judgment out of it, okay? <laughs> Who could bet? And to you all, peace out. And to everyone else, life ring. And of course, paintbrush. You guys showed up great respect to each other. And we can't always forget about you. Aw, oh, thank you. And that's what everything the story does tell, the same thing. That's where we end the year. Stay tuned, and we'll be back for a new part of the year, 23 to 2024, of the new episodes of the season. Keep your eyes planned out of here. And if you want to stay updated, you got to subscribe to Son and Beast's channel. If you don't, somebody will. That's right. I'm out. Bye-bye. Have a great night. You too. Let's close it off anyway. Yeah, sure thing. Buried? i never seen anything like this. Like it's buried on the surface. Or anybody here buried on the ground. I'm not even entirely sure how this would happen to be like this. Well, who would I know? Maybe I got somebody else I can bring. Who are they? Hey, it's me. It's Boomer. I'm not even entirely sure how this one turns out. But what are you watching anyway? Are you trying to react to this? Yes, I am. I'm always reacting to this. It seemed like I'm doing it on my own. Won't you join in with me? All right. I guess so. Good. Please. It's ultimately forgiveness. We'll try to see how this happens anyway. Hopefully there's no murder in the case that they gave someone. Hmm. I wonder. Well, you'll see. You'll find out. Okay, then. Well, see for yourself. Thanks. Okay. So, it's finally that time for a new episode for this year to next year in 2023 to 24. As right now, the wait is already over. Thank goodness we're back in fall season, everybody. I hope everybody enjoyed your summer season of 2K23. If you have any concerns which one is your favorite, you got to let me know in the comments below. The best one is BFDI and an Anime Insanity Experience uh, show was an awesome effort. Um, met a lot of character actors, and I guess the creators here too. Got great autographs, but I have it on mine. It's a great way to share this one as I've done for the last episode's reaction. And I did a little bit of double header. Well, I'll find out more detail in the description. So in that case, I've got a lot of things to say about this one, that the new episode's already out, since right now it's October. It's uh, the end of the month here of September, so... <laughs> wow, that was quick. I guess that Adam Katz and their team wants to create something before the end and the new month hits. So it looks like they want to like change it up a little bit different. 
Wow, guys. You worked at yourself's butt off really hard. So I guess right now, I have Boomer with me. That's him. If you guys can't really say about this. This is the ultimate one. He's watching with me. But I guess that Blueberry have won himself. But why is that a thing, like, whenever you go with a one word? I have to question myself who done it. Because on episode number eight, I know what happened to Clover. She's thinking of a murder. But now she came back in. And now she all they're all the contestants have lost again. So it's only Blueberry that definitely won. So <laughs> what is the meaning of that? So I know that Clover is already out. But l l let me tell you this. This is whatever happens. I know that. Because of it, it was too much. Let me tell you why. It's all what happened to her. Her butterfly that was killed by most contestants. And it should never happen to be like this. Now I have to think about what if is going to happen for this episode of this elimination. And I have just got confused with the thumbnail picture that I forgot to mention. I accidentally put light bulb in the thumbnail. They're like five, but I don't know if this would count. Whoops. I'm not even sure why did I put light bulb here in that last season one. I'm not even sure what happened to this because I was thinking like, Beast, you know that light bulb is not supposed to be here in this season, is is she? I felt like, huh, right, but why did I do that? And he said, it's supposed to be Blueberry that's supposed to be returning in for the show. And I felt like, what, you seriously sure? Well, and I guess that he, he confirms it. Well, somebody in the comment told me, why is light bulb on the thumbnail? Well, I'm sorry, I, I just kept making mistakes anyway. So, enough of chatting, let's find out what's the next elimination going to be. So, I predicted the vote. I was thinking of Silver Spoon. But at the tight range of this one, the last one was very close. Because Bot was out and eliminated last episode. And it was all thanks for nothing for the triple duos. And it's now only Balloon and Nickel. But I got very concerned of what it is. So I have to say is, whatever this is going to go for, I'm still going to predict that someone else is going to be gone next for the fan contestant. If it's not happening, and if it's the returning contestants that are veterans, they are going to get overrated. Why? Well, it's because of how they act. And I don't know which one I have to go with. I decided to keep Nickel here in the top th three in the ranking system. Well, this could be last three to provoke here in between for the season finale. But I don't know if it is. So, I have to figure out the chart below. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, so, this is what I have made. It's a decision making in between for those three. So, this is why I had chose Nickel here to get this one here first. Then the second one here in the final three will be Cabby right over here. This is the one that hasn't gotten the files right in between from the range of each of the fan contestants and the returning contestants that are new f their favorites. Because at that point, they really seem that she's got a file folder from that one from the draw. So I might be thinking it might be her. So I might choose that uh, to be in the final three with the pinkers, and for the thinkers, this one goes with this. I'm not even entirely sure if Yin Yang will be able to stay possible enough if he's going to be able to try to like keep going and going again, but um, it's nothing but I really want to do to try to keep it the right way at the same time, so it, it may be a difficulty to do this one. If I don't have any competitors that got that far, then I might lose one of them. It can be a little bit difficulty to try to keep going. But as for long as Nickel, it might be tough when I try to keep out the line. But I may not be able to get this right that time. What? Seriously? Um, that's what I'm predicting on. 
Okay, you know what? I'm just going to start reacting to this one right now. Let me just go ahead before my time runs out. Well, I will say, I do feel a little more comfortable knowing that no one here is an actual murderer. Well, it's clearly nobody is a murderer, especially if you call it from episode number eight of the Clover that was her. So it does seem like she was a real case of the murder that does happen to be killing every contestant. And Nickel was right. I know you did this one anyway, Nickel, but I'm going to tell you this. If one of each competitor is thinking that they're the murderers instead of you, uh, you wouldn't be judging on that one anyway. So it could have been at least Candle or... Cabby, but I might have a hard time with the feeling of what is happening with those two, like the inspected rules, like in between from the force of Shadow and Sonic the Hedgehog. It, it can be a little bit difficult on my face facts, but forget what I just go with now, and it, it's tough for me to try to just stay in one place. And why is it daytime? This is like a changing season over here. Then coming in in the evening that late at night. I mean, I don't know what to tell you about this, but the sunrise is looks like it's going to happen like that in the Immunity Island. I mean, pretty interesting enough. That's a little bit of change off. I'm not a real jack off. Whoops. Why did I say that? Says something about all of us. That'd be truly thought any one of us could be a killer. Yeah, I think it's saying you're all weak, Penny. And you know what? What do you have to say? Easily fooled by the mastermind. How many victory laps are you gonna take him on the track, Blue Mary? I'll keep running till they turn out the lights. Alright, I get it there, Blueberry, so you know. I'm not going to ask because I know what it is going to happen. But in case you don't mind, I may have to start doing a little bit of an ab workout and some a little daily routine to try to stay in cover. You know, I'm strong, but paintbrush got a little bit more aggressive on me. <sighs> okay, I'll see if I can stay in shape. Well, he would have been perhaps get a little bit tougher than you thought. If he's going to start doing it, then I don't think it may not happen at that point. He's going to get fat if he just eat, keeps on chucking things down. Beast, seriously. You got to stop it. Stop doing this. Like he keeps on chubbing. Fat and fat. I'm really nervous about you. Stop it. All right, Boomer. <laughs> My brother's a little bit idiotic. Then just don't take it. Your brother right now is DJ Beast Cool? Yeah, definitely that. <laughs> Just stick with your brother then. It's not very that good optional. Not the manner of you. You're right then. Okay. Well, then, let's find out what happens with Yin Yang. Will he decide to drink the milk, or will he just not go with the challenge to save the immunity? Because... The last time, he never drank anything. Will this episode work? Right. If anyone has a glass of immunity milk and they want to drink it, I wouldn't say now would be the time to do so since it's gotten pretty old. But, you know, you still can. Would that be okay? <laughs> Thanks. What? The switchback? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my! I think I remembered it from the last season. It's a, like a little change off. Wow, I know that was going to happen like that. Well, how can you know this? The memory of the lifetime back from last season. Loser. <laughs> we will be using the milk to give to Cabby. What? Yang, are you sure? We wouldn't have gotten it in the first place without you. Now drink up! Sharing the wealth. <gasps> do, do I really have to drink the rest of the I'll read the votes. Well, wait a minute. I, is the milk raw? I'm not even entirely sure. What? How can you give it off to uh, Yin Yang? Is Cabby the one that gives her immunity milk to win? Um, 
I don't know, but let's find out what the votes are. I'm very worried of who's next. So, now's the time. Here it goes. Okay, so it's not that, because, um, this is why that I really felt bad about not about Cabby, because it's a bad idea to go with that one instead, so. I'm very worried about the rival in between those two. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with this, so I felt completely bad. I don't know who's the next one. Oh no, please don't tell me it's going to be a tie again. If this happens right now, I am going to be seriously felt bad about it because I don't know what will happen. So, uh, I don't know. This is bad. And the final vote is... Shinya, you are out 15. Eliminated contestant. Oh my god! So, so this time it's not a tie. Uh oh. Um, I gotta go check in the other room anyway. So, what? what's the case that he said? I, I thought... Once again, you thought what I wanted you to think. Now that we know the jury decides the winner, Yin Yang's just too big a threat. Literally, they could frighten everyone here and still be well liked. It's true, and I am. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your selfless act was all for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. Yang and I had a personal victory, and that is worth celebrating. Just know, I run this game now. So Blueberry's now a victim, is he? So, you know, it's gonna happen like this. If he is the bad guy for Blueberry, then you know Yin Yang wouldn't be pressuring on him. So I felt like it's gonna be back that bad. You know, okay, uh, I feel, think that my calculation is wrong, so, who is it going to be now? Silver Spoon? Well, probably it could be that, like, two fans and one veteran. So, I might say it's gonna, now going to be a five contestants to change up, so I guess that is going to be a shock run. So, Yin Yang, will, you will be missed, and I will say, bless your souls for us. Please forgive me what I've done, but I feel bad of what's going to happen with this month. You'll see. An anime insanity invitational. I guess that's it. This fifteen was not that bad, but Hamination? What? The oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Uh it's supposed to be the in anime insanity invitational reaction to close things off. Not Hamination's. Like it's a funny, silly stories. Come on, man. I mean, what are you guys thinking? Is this going to be the next one I never get to react to this? Oh, man. You've got to be freaking kidding me. All right. Computer, change this to a closing scene of the incorporation. Ah, that's better. Thank you so much. Now that's what we're calling for a close off for this video. Now we can get to enjoy it with Animation Incorporation and me as the incorporation guy for myself as a reaction. Don't complain about me. Thank you. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.